Hello everybody. In this video, just uh, we want to show you how to extract the reaction forces and how to export them to Excel file. Actually, this video is creating just to respond to those engineers and my friends that uh, ask me about uh, how to uh, send the information uh, to the Excel file, how we can use StatPro to send the uh, data like uh, beam forces, reaction forces, and uh, all the things to Excel sheets. So for this reason, so I have this model, and from here, after running the analysis, so first of all, I need to go to here, and then run the analysis. And then go to post-processing mode. And from here, I have this data. Okay, first of all, let's look at the reactions. So from here, I have these reactions. Maybe in this view, I can go to top view. And from here, I can select, for example, this nodes. Or from this view. Let me just go back to displacement. And from here, I will just select the this nodes and then go to report. And from here, actually, I have the support reaction. If you click on this, so here you will get all these reactions. So you need to select them. OK, so uh, and you can also sort them by uh, different uh, reactions like force uh, in x direction y direction or z direction and then from here i can select my loading for example here i can go to just you know select some of this loading just to let's say uh, avoid any lengthy excel sheet so i will just uh, select you know maybe three of them and then click ok so right now I have this and from here just click on the note from here that's it and then right click copy so from here I can just simply open my excel file and then paste it so here I have all this reaction forces in the Excel format. Okay, same thing we can do for other data and information. Another question that uh, some of my friends asked me regarding the uh, plate result, if I go back to view, so here I have this isometric view, and if I go to plate results, so here, first of all, I need to select the load case or any of load combination that I created before. For example, here I can go to load combination number 19 and then stress type. So from here, I need to select the stress, stress type. Most of the time, so we are looking for moment and stresses. So depending on uh, the material that we used, so we need to select the appropriate stress. For example, for ductile materials, we need to use the one misses stress. And for brittle material like concrete, we need to select the maximum or minimum principal stresses. But here, for example, I am going to see the moment in the local axis S or around the local axis X and around the local axis Y. So if I click on this here, I have the MX local. If I click on this, so here, all the colors will be activated and then apply. So right now I can see the moment in the X local axis. And also I can change it to MY and see the moment in or around Y local axis. Hopefully, 
this video was useful and uh, informative for those who ask me this question and thank you so much for trusting in me thank you so much and have a great moments